China snooping on the US may be what great spy flicks are made of. But if you're looking for some good old drama, tune into some UK politics. There is no end to the drama here. On Sunday, former Scottish leader Nicola Sturgeon was arrested. She was questioned by the police for over seven hours. Sturgeon was released soon after. She was quick to proclaim her innocence, but the arrest sent shockwaves through Scottish politics. Sturgeon's arrest was part of a financial probe. The police are investigating her party, the Scottish National Party, or SNP. They're looking into the party's funding and finances. In April this year, they arrested Sturgeon's husband. This time, it was her turn. So what is this investigation about? Time for a quick backstory. Scotland and England united to form Great Britain in the year 1707. But soon, Scotland got tired of this arrangement. It wanted its own government. Enter the referendums. 1979 and then 1999. These gave Scotland its own parliament, but not the much needed independence it desired. So in 2014, Scotland voted in a referendum for independence. 55% voted to stay, 45% wanted to walk out. So obviously, no independence for Scotland. But the Scottish National Party or SNP wanted to give it another go. So this party asked for funds for another referendum campaign. More than £600,000 were donated to the party. That's around US dollars These donations were made by activists. It was supposed to be for Scottish independence, but it looks like these funds were diverted. In 2021, the police received complaints about this. So they launched Operation Branch Form. First, Sturgeon's husband, also the party's chief executive, was questioned. Second, the party headquarters were raided. And third, the party treasurer was arrested. And now Sturgeon has been questioned too. She may have been released for now, but this scandal has plunged her party, the SNP, into a deep crisis. Many in the party want Nicola Sturgeon suspended. And this could be a tough call for her successor, the new first minister of Scotland, Hamza Yusuf. But for the so-called Queen of Scots, this is a spectacular fall from grace. Sturgeon was once one of Britain's most formidable politicians, one of the UK's most formidable politicians. But her resignation as First Minister in February and the financial probe right now means that Sturgeon is no longer the invincible presence she once was. And she's not the only one in trouble. There is more drama in UK politics. Meet Boris Johnson, the embattled former UK Prime Minister, the man who was the, the source of many scandals. Two days ago, Boris Johnson resigned as a member of parliament. He saw the findings of the Partygate Investigation Committee. You may remember Partygate. When the whole country was in lockdown, Boris Johnson and his team were apparently partying. It led to a scandal. It forced Johnson to resign as prime minister. And now it looks like it may have cost him his seat in the parliament too. Johnson called the findings a witch hunt. And he jumped the gun. He quit before he could be forced out. Now, Johnson and Sturgeon are very different leaders. And these are two very different cases. But they do have something in common. They're not giving their successors, Hamza Yusuf and Rishi Sunak, an easy time.